everyone, this is Urjo Ivy and as promised, I have prepared and will be posting series of health and sciences and nursing related videos, especially dedicated to my subscribers, to youngsters who have not yet decided which course to take up for college, and to those people who are planning to go back to school and considering a nursing career but before that I just recently received a message from one of my subscribers um, she's um, Layla her name is Layla also known as Takiro I love you so she's an MA and really her message is more of um, seeking an advice about uh, what to expect during externship since she's having uh, an ongoing externship since January so yeah this is specially dedicated to her firstly I would like to remind you all that I am not an expert, I just share what I have learned and know about this field basing on the first-hand experience and um, with a little help of some research. I hope in my own little way um, you will find this informative and useful in your um, internship, in your externship or your first um, job so yes uh, just stay tuned and i will be discussing the main mainly the scope the functions responsibilities of an ma or a medical assistant medical assistants can be licensed or unlicensed healthcare workers who perform both administrative and clinical tasks that keep the offices of the health practitioners in order and organize. However, the term medical assistant should not be confused with physician assistants. As always required by law, medical assistants should work under the supervision of a licensed physician, a registered nurse, a nurse practitioner, or a physician assistant. Duties and responsibilities vary depending on the area of specialization. For the administrative functions, this includes bookkeeping, um, answering telephone calls, keeping the area clean, neat, and well-lighted, specifically the examination room, and many more to mention. And for the clinical test, basically we'll be working with the other health team members so remember that the core or the center of the health team is the patient so do not do anything or make any drastic actions that will endanger patient's life and also be knowledgeable about the medical terminologies so i would suggest that you you should have to have your own medical dictionary it comes very handy Prepare patient for laboratory or diagnostic procedures is another function of a medical assistant. Some institutions allow medical assistants to perform skin testing, but others require to, that a medical assistant to, should have a certificate or to undergo a training. As healthcare workers, our profession is very stressful, it's highly demanding. I would also suggest that you have to have a form of relaxation. So just by reading um, any inspirational books like this, um, 100 Simple Secrets of happy people i just think that it is one way of also um, pouring out our tensions and yeah 
part of relaxation. Um, as healthcare workers, again, medical assistance, you are on the, the frontliner of the health team, so you're always there to greet the patients. So I think there's nothing wrong about um, smiling and being um, friendly with the clients and you have to have an uplifting outlook in life in order for you to perform your task um, with excellence okay and just um, do your work with passion and determination be assertive by not becoming too aggressive so I hope you I hope you know what I mean. And what else? Um, before you go to work, um, just utter or say a simple prayer. Uh, this also help for you to become um, strong and to be away from any um, troubles or Ooh. just to have a good start. So. I hope in my own little way this answers some of your queries so but if not there's a lot of um, topics on the websites or there's internet you can surf um, about medical assistance so yeah just thank you for watching and see you for our next segment or topic bye